Only a few days ago, Mojang officially released a downloadable resource pack of the new to come textures that will be finding their way into Minecraft fairly soon. Now, before everybody gets scared that these textures will be immediately implemented without our approval, Mojang has given us this resource pack to give them feedback before they add these textures into the game. So everyone hold tight because these textures might wind up not being final and you definitely still have a chance to provide some feedback. However, because these textures are publicly available now, we might as well give our opinions on them. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing that you'll notice when looking at a lot of these new textures is that they really, really pop. Blocks like regular stone, dirt, and grass look more or less the same as they always have, while cobblestone, wood planks, crafting tables, bookshelves, and others seem more lively and feel like they actually pop out, rather than being directly flat like their old counterparts. This can easily be contributed to the shading techniques that they used while creating these new textures, and it certainly makes them more noticeable. Some textures have stayed relatively the same but have been enhanced to seem more vibrant, while other blocks have had an almost complete overhaul. Obsidian, at first glance, almost looks nothing like obsidian anymore. Many individuals have claimed that the new texture for the block looks a lot more like a block of coal rather than the classic texture that we've come to know and love. While that point definitely has a leg to stand on, the reason this block seems so different is because it seems as if Mojang has decided to stray away from simple and flat textures to putting as much detail as they possibly can in each 16 by 16 block. A great example of this can be found when comparing the old oak leaves texture to the new oak leaves texture. Looking at the old texture, this block seems very flat in the design of its leaves, while this new design uses every opportunity to push every pixel to the max. Even comparing the new and old design for cobblestone shares this exact same sentiment. Looking at the new design for the skeleton mob, for example, you can see Mojang's emphasis on attempting to get away from the super flat design mentality of the old resource pack. The skeleton's new jawline shows this new shading technique and proves its ability to work very well. Other mobs like the pig, slime, and more have also had almost unnoticeable alterations to make them look more naturally shaded and textured, rather than looking flat or having too much or too little detail. Looking at some other mobs, you'll notice that the creeper's texture is the same as its old resource pack counterpart. Supposedly, some textures will be the same and won't wind up changing. While it's definitely difficult to go through and figure out exactly what has and hasn't changed at first glance, I can confirm that some textures like the swords and tools are exactly the same, thankfully. More or less, the main difference in most of the new textures and the old textures is shading. Of course, comparing examples like the new crops and the old crops will show you that that explanation isn't always the case. To truly see the differences in these textures, go to a place like a village. Using the new resource pack, you'll immediately feel that the village is somewhat off. Everything will feel glaringly obvious when they're all side by side in a format that you're familiar with like a video or a picture. However, adapting to this change in game may come pretty quickly. Only time will tell at this point. Something that should definitely be noted about this future change is that these textures will be completely optional. Going back to Joppa's Twitter, you'll find that he responded to his own tweet talking about these changes, saying old textures will be a separate download when the new default pack officially releases. To anybody who might be ready to raise their pitchforks and demand their classic textures back, Joppa and Mojang definitely have the hardcore players in mind here. So for the majority of this video, I've been leaving my opinion out of it because I at least wanted to go over all of these changes without putting my two cents into the mix all the time. But now that I've gone over just about everything, here's what I think of these new changes. While I don't feel that Mojang is destroying everything that is good in the world and spelling doom for the world of Minecraft by implementing texture changes, this change does have me wondering what Mojang is thinking here. And that's neither a bad or a good thing. Over the past eight years, Minecraft has risen to become the most iconic game of our generation, and with it, has a familiar look that is absolutely unmistakable. However, if Mojang were changing the look of tools like the sword and the pickaxe, then maybe I'd be crying complete foul here. 
though if I had to guess, the marketing department at Mojang or Microsoft would have not allowed that to happen. I mean, imagine if every single foam sword that was ever sold was now radically incorrect. Yeah, no way. But aside from that, this change has me questioning the consistency of Mojang's intentions for Minecraft. Joppa is all about having things be optional and pleasing everyone here. Jeb, the lead coder for Minecraft, does not share this value, and that was never more evident than with the 1.9 combat update. But that's another topic for another video, so be on the lookout for that one at some point in the near future. For now, if you want to download the new textures for the new resource pack and check it out, be sure to check out the link in the description below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill, who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel, and the video quite a lot. But anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Antvenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.